All right, so let's get this leak down test begun. So you will plug your exhaust port with an inch and a half plug. Then you want to make sure you have your power valve breather tube pinched off. Or you could also thread a bolt in there if you'd like, but I just wanted to use some uh, vice grips, make it quick and easy. So go ahead and put in your Schrader valve plug into your reed cage. Tying down your hose clamps onto the plug that the Schrader valve is connected to. Now I would recommend using a hand pump when doing this because you don't want to go over 7 to 8 PSI when doing this test for a YZ250 anyways. But I just only put about 15 pounds in my air compressor that way there wasn't much to begin with. I just kind of lightly tapped it to get to the right pressure I needed. Right away I noticed I started having a pretty quick leak which is unacceptable. For a leak down test, so you want to grab your Dawn disc soap and start spraying around to see where you can find bubbles. I began at the reed cage just to make sure where my uh, Schrader valve plug and everything was, didn't have any leaks, and I didn't find nothing there, everything looked good. Thoroughly spray everywhere around the reed cage, the reed cage spacer. The base of the cylinder just to make sure there ain't no leaks there you also want to check your breather tube for your transmission case too because it can also leak through that gasket that the two cases squeeze against that holds all your transmission gears together so just check that that was good and as i could find i had a leak on my power valve cover which isn't too critical because that's on the exhaust side so it ain't really that big of a deal. It's just something I was able to fix by tightening down those screws some more. Hey everyone, so we just finished doing that leak down test on my YZ250. Um, I am gonna say this ain't a quick job because to do a leak down test, you gotta tear the whole bike down basically. You gotta get the gas tank off, the seat off, your side cover plastics, and then you have to get the rear subframe loose to get your carburetor out. So it takes time, but a little time put into it, you can figure out why you have running problems. Usually you'll have a hanging idle if you have an air leak somewhere, and this is a great way to find where that air leak is. If you keep making adjustments to your carburetor and you keep making adjustments to everywhere else and nothing is changing, good possibility you have an air leak somewhere. So doing a leak down test is sufficient. Also, I will put a link in the description of where you can buy this leak down test kit. I bought mine off eBay. You can go to the hardware store and buy all these parts yourself, but for me, I didn't have much spare time, so I just ordered online so it'd show up in my front door. So I'll put that link down there. So when you're doing a leak down test, some other areas you can check is under the ignition cover where your crank seal is, and then under your clutch cover for where your crank seal is. If you can't find nothing on the outside, there's a good possibility you have to pull those covers off and check inside there. But you always want to check like that breather tube coming off the crankcase where the transmission is located. You want to check that, make sure that gasket ain't bad. You want to make sure to check around your cylinder head, all the way around your base gasket. So check all those areas. If you can't find nothing there, if you can't find no air leaks on your crank seals, it might be something else, but this is one more thing you can check off the box that you can make sure your bike is running like it should be. And if you guys found this video informational and helpful, please give me a like and subscribe, and I'll have the content keep coming. Have a great day.